all the storytellers get it wrong. Despite how the legend goes, the truth of the matter is, dear reader, I saw him first. Countless years have passed, but I can recall that morning so well. The sun had not yet risen, and the colors of the forest were muted. I loved that time within the earthly realm, when all living creatures seemed to hold one collective breath, waiting for the day to begin. I had escaped my duty, fleeing the opulent quarters I shared with my six older sisters. As the seventh and youngest daughter of the Jade Emperor, I wear the crimson cloak of feathers. It grants me the power of flight and allows me to weave my colors into the earth's skies, from rose to vermilion, from the lightest blush to the deepest crimson. This morning's sunrise was a pallid, anemic thing without me. I lay in my favorite meadow hidden among silver birch trees overlooking a lake below. A young man with his hair pulled into a top knot stood by the lake, his companion, an old ox. His stunned silence was louder than any shout of surprise. He lifted my cloak from the damp mud and I shivered, but not from the cold. No mortal had ever laid hands on my cloak before. After two more moons, I knew him as well as every red-streaked sunrise I had created. And I swear upon my crimson cloak, I saw him first.